who might have remembers we had gotten here. Uh, we rescued him from Satan or the devil or whatever else you want to go ahead and call that evil chimera. And we got on the train with Malakov. And this is kind of where I edit it um, because the next sequence is uh, a little bit longer, but it's really fucking good. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite sequences uh, in this game just because a lot of the times what you deal with in a game like this is not a cloven uh, trying to think I know he created the cloven I think the cloven was him I don't really remember the cloven I'm responsible for some horrific things anyway that's that's beside the point he's kind of like I'm gonna go with Malakoff here is kind of like an Einstein excuse me I'm sorry about all that so what the best part it was over 1,000 men. It, this part is like the real thing you have to worry about in a situation like that. Never see your family and that is not the... That's not the aliens, it's not the monsters, it's not things like that. That's the terrifying part. It's... It's the other people that are out there. That's what's terrifying. And I like this, because they talk about the hive mind, I love the hive mind theory. And almost any, any movie or any sci-fi thing out there, if you think about... Uh, even if you go to, like, StarCraft, Halo... Potentially, I'm gonna go with Gears of War. Uh, definitely a few others that are out there. It's like, the hive mind is what controls people. But this is the terrifying part. It's not the aliens, it's us. It is what happens to us when we hit this certain point... In our life, and the best part is that like he was, he was one of you. That that tattoo with the with the star and stuff. That I said that's the circle symbol. Yeah, he was a sentinel, so he was as badass as theoretically as you were. Woo! Now, so, this is the gun that starts in the. This is the gun that starts in the beginning of the, uh, of the first game that you get. Yeah, so I, I do like this level. I love the idea of uh, having to fight them. Just because it is one of those things that you have to deal with uh, on, on a regular basis. And you're in such a sitting duck here because of... Uh, what you're using being on a train. There we go. I gotta swore. Well, that's good. Yep, I'm grateful of that. Grateful of that. You can start to see how, like, some of these are... Uh, some of these are, like, jeeps that look like they would have been around in World War II. So it's really nice with the aesthetic for this game. And I love the way these guns still sound. I still think that's one of the best parts about this game. I do wish it the registration for this was a little bit uh, a little bit better because there are times I feel like I'm shooting somebody in the face and then I do new damage to him. I like how the ammo is in the uh, in the final car because that's exactly where I need it to be. Get back to where I need to be. I normally do a lot better here. Like, I normally... Violence and selfishness. Strength where we're at now, but a weakness later on. And here we go. We're just going to deal with all these assholes right now. You. Stop fucking throwing Molotovs at me. 
God damn, motherfucker. Like, do you see me sitting here throwing Molotovs at you? You ever wonder that, like, how would it feel if I just threw a Molotov at your ass? What would you do then? Huh? Bitch. And it's also one of those things, like, how do you guys get all these cars moving? Like, there's an alien war going on out there that we've lost. You don't think that this is going to be a little suspicious? <sighs> actually, they, they actually solved that problem, which I'm fine with. Oh, he died. Let's see if I can't take him out. That's right. Come on, guys. <clears throat> Quit hitting the bumps. I, you know, you're being shot at. <clears throat> I feel like these guys should not be as picky as they are when it comes to their... When it comes to how their drivers are driving. Granted, like, I'm shooting at them. They're trying to be... They're trying to, like, take me out, do things like that. There they are up top. All right, let's let's try to do this. They shouldn't be. I put a grenade right there. Keep boarding. That's right, guys. Probably not the best time to get your bearings, boss. Just, just throwing that out there. If I was going to be boarding a moving train. What kind of weapons do I have? One. Um, I feel like I don't use you as enough, and I should. <gasps> it's a wildfire. Yeah, uh -oh. <laughs> blew up his butt. Blew up his butt. Blew up his butt. I don't really know what that means. Actually, yeah, I do know exactly what I'm saying, guys. I just... I oh, don't know, I'm having a moment. I want to know why it catches on fire, though. That's one of my few, like, what's going on? Why did this happen? Why did... Let's fix this. Oh shit. Hey, there you are. Hey guys. This was nice and all. Oh shit, you do! Nothing like a shotgun. Any game we play, don't care. Shotgun is probably gonna be out. Huh. Let's see what we can do here. I'm out of ammo now. So this is now just a pretty much an attrition game. And you know how attrition games work. You don't win. Let's... What do I got? was a lot of them. I'm hoping that was a, enough. I wish that was enough to get the six. I probably should have, uh, when they were going to board, walked up to that thing and just fired the six right then and there and been like, alright, we got this. The best hollow sight ever designed. Oh, 
Uh, there they are. So the Wither Makers in the first game were kind of like giant skulls on their faces. That was about it, and they had like spider legs. So this game, they really upped their design to make them look, one, a little bit more real and believable, and two, I guess to make them look like they actually belong? Oh, that's a Chimera Battleship. I wish my grenade did a little bit more damage. I put a fuck ton of rounds into that guy's face. Alright, let's just line up. Line up. Wow, they're just really going back there. Do I have another? I have one. Oh, I had a chance. I actually had a chance. That's a bit of a bummer. Where'd my health go? There it is. Yeah, so I was a Chimera battleship, and you don't see them in this game, which kind of makes me wonder, since they won, did they just decommission them? Did they just go, they're not worth it? I'm not quite sure. And the game doesn't necessarily answer that for you, so I, it doesn't bother me so much. I like the fact that the game does leave a lot of air of mystery here. Now I just gotta beat these guys like some bitches in the street. Dude... I'm not trying to hide. I'm just trying to figure out where you guys are coming from. That's the most cost-effective way to kill you. I want the most ergonomic way to kill you. Oh, wait. Here it is. I like how you can't even really lock onto them. So this is probably one of the better points of the game where it just shows you how different things are now. Huh. Saved by Widowmakers. See, I liked in the beginning they actually jumped over it. That was a, a unique feature of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, as always, if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As always, please remember that you're all winners out there, and keep it weird.